Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins inside Cal's room. He and his dog wake up to the sound of the alarm clock. He goes through his morning routine, bathes and feeds his dog, and makes a snack for school. Runt, his dog, snatches a condom from his backpack, and he has to struggle to get it out of his teeth. He rides his bike to school, and leaves Runt in the yard, which is of course surrounded by a fence. He arrives at school and discovers that some guys have set him up. Cal wants to pick up a coin that has fallen on the ground. However, it is glued. Sicily alerts him that the coin is glued, but Ronnie pushes him to the ground with his foot. Sicily assists him in getting up, and he is enraged and marches away, but his condom slips from his backpack. Sicily takes it and conceals it in her hands. She also kicks the coin away, ruining the fun for the rest of the party. Cal's class is taking an exam. Hank, the guy sitting behind Cal, is attempting to imitate him, but he will not let him or Hank's companion do so. He, on the other hand, bullies Cal and instructs him to sit back. Mr. Tally, the teacher approaches Cal, and asks if he allowed those guys to cheat. He informs Cal that if he doesn't respond, he will fail him. Cal has a new class, and he can't take his gaze away from a female. He has a sketch of that girl in his room, and is working on another portrait of her in his notebook. He joins the group that his crush is in when the class is divided into groups. He tries to win Gabby's attention, but she is reserved around him. He displays Gabby's portrait to his friend Borgi in the school cafeteria. His friend agrees that it's nice, but he can't really give it to Gabby, because she's Vic's girlfriend. Cal claims that Gabby is far superior, and he relates how his mother fell in love with his father when he penned a song for her. The children are sketching in their next class. Cal's teacher discovers a letter on his desk, and congratulates him on his admission to UCLA. Cal claims he prefers Rhodes Island. Sicily returns his condom, and considers asking him to the homecoming dance. Borgi interrupts her and asks her a question, how come everyone refers to her as a homeschooler? The bell rings as he wrecks it for Sicily. Cal appears in front of Gabby and her pals around noon, and requests a moment alone with her. He's carrying her hand-drawn image in his hands, and asks if she plans to attend the homecoming school dance, and she responds no one goes to those things. She passes him by. Cal notices her backpack being unlocked, and tosses the sketch inside. He unlocks his bike to ride home, but Vic and his companion sees it. Vic informs him that his buddy's papers were rejected by teacher Tally, because they cheated on the test. Cal swears he didn't tell Tally anything. Vic claims that if his pals are penalized, they will be unable to play in the next game, which will be detrimental to the squad. Cal joins them as they ride his bike up the top stairs of the football stadium. Vic requests that Cal persuade Tally that his teammates didn't cheat. That next game is crucial to them. Cal doesn't seem to mind. He is forced into a barrel-shaped plastic dust bin and rolled down the stairs by the three of them. He takes the bus back home. Exhausted and hurt, he still has the desire to play with his dog. He grabs his baseball bat, and begins to whack some balls. Runt sprints and retrieves the ball. Cal's mother returns home at night, but we never see her. She closes her bedroom door, and claims she's weary. The next morning at school, Principal Carrie summons Cal to her office, and informs her that a worker witnessed those boys roughhousing California at the same time, the football coach enters the office with Vic. Vic shows the principal Gabby's sketch, and claims Cal has been following his girlfriend. When the principal looks at Cal, he chooses to settle the matter, claiming nothing happened on the football field. After school, Cicely approaches Cal, and asks him if he wants to go to the library with her and smoke. She invites him to the homecoming dance as well. He claims that no one goes to those events, but she corrects him, claiming no one goes to those events to dance. He goes to work at the store on the side. When he's finished, he rides to the library to meet Sicily for a smoke. She requests he give her a lift home. They ride his bike together, and crash near her house. He notices her legs and enjoys them, and advises her not to always wear long skirts because she has lovely legs. She claims to be aware of this, and enters her home. He returns home, and gathers everything he requires to go into his room and enjoy himself. He asks his dog whether he wants to stay outside or come inside. The dog circles itself a number of times, before deciding to sit outside. Cal is once again in the same study group with Gabby. She informs him that she liked his drawing, but Vic saw it and went insane. He also mentions that Vic will have his house to himself this weekend, and invites him to the party. She invites him to show Vic that what occurred doesn't upset him. Borgi and Cal go to a remote location, armed with a pistol. They practice shooting at targets. Borgi tries to persuade Cal to attend the party that Gabby has asked him to. Cal is opposed to the proposal, because the party will be held at Vic's house. He agrees to go after some discussion. 
They both go to the party. The majority of the attendees use stuff and consume booze. Sicily arrives at the party and meets with California. When Borgi embarrasses himself, Sicily and Cal decide to get some fresh air. They step outside. Vic and his pals notice them, and begin pestering them. Vic despises Cal, and is curious how he will react if he messes with his girlfriend. They force Cal into the trunk of his car. Hank restrains Sicily, while Gabby pushes Vic away. Sicily refuses to speak with anyone, and flees. Cal and Borgi meet the next day. Borgi apologizes for not being present to support him. Cal believes even if he were present, he would do nothing. They make fun of each other. Borgi claims that they continue to torment him because they don't take him seriously. Cal informs that Borgi was the real punchline at the gathering. They argue verbally, before parting ways. Cal is unable to locate Sicily at school. Gabby hands him a note, but he refuses to read it. He discovers his bike chain has been severed, and needs to get to work quickly. When he arrives, his manager fires him for the third time, for being late. He calls his mother to come take him up, but she never answers. He has to walk back home carrying his bike. He comes home and checks on his mother. She is sound asleep. Cal is quite enraged, and steals his mother's car, and Runt joins him. He gets in his car and travels to Vic's residence. He is prepared to respond, and sets fire to Vic's car. Vic and Hank bolt from the house, and dial the police. Hank gets a good glimpse at the back of Cal's car as he drives away, and he also gets a good look at Runt. Cal will not be attending school the next day. He had a brief and insignificant talk with his mother. He repairs his bike and pays a visit to Sicily's residence with Runt. Her father arrives at the door. Cal inquires about Sicily, and her father responds she is not at home. He clearly has no idea what transpired. They go outside the library, and wait for Sicily for a while. Hank is driving with a friend, when he observes Cal and Runt. I knew it, he adds, establishing the link as soon as he sees Runt. Cal takes Runt and they go into hiding. Hank and his pal search for him, but do not find him. Cal goes to a gun shop, and considers purchasing a firearm. Sicily contacts Cal, and they meet at night. He inquires whether she intends to report Vic's assault to the police. She declines for two reasons. First, her father is on probation, and if he finds out what occurred, he will lash out, and he will be returned to jail. Second, everyone believes Cal firebombed Vic's automobile, and if this is confirmed on a larger scale, it will damage his future. She tells him to be cautious if he goes to school the next day. Cal returns to school and catches up with Borgi, who apologizes for everything, and claims he was the one who slashed his bike chain out of rage, but he'll have his back from now on, because things are getting serious. Cal avoids Vic and his friends for the entire day, but they eventually catch up with him. A fight breaks out, but Cal defends himself effectively, employing the iron fist he plainly purchased, as well as other dirty techniques. Teacher Tally intervenes, and breaks up the fight. Cal walks home, pleased with himself. Ronnie and his pals interrupt him, saying they admired what he did. They load him into their jeep, and cheer madmen for him. They offer to drive him home, and invite him to bowling in the evening. They go bowling and have a good time. Ronnie tells Cal about his father, who sprayed his substances with something to annoy and teach him a lesson. But it had negative consequences for him, and he suffered for six months as a result. Anyways, he invites him to the after party, but Cal declines. Cal calls Sicily and inquires as to what she is doing right now. She is waiting outside Cal's house with Runt when he returns home. He tells her about his night, and she inquires about Runt. Cal claims that Runt was a stray dog. He tracked him down and brought him in. When they enter the house, he is worried about getting in trouble, but she reassures him, explaining that everyone blames the fight on Vic. They hug, and are watching a film. Runt complains because he is envious. Cal takes Runt out, and explains that when he doesn't get the attention, he becomes envious. Cal and Sicily share a bed. They wake up the next morning, and she remarks how talented he is. They also read a letter received by him. It is from Rhodesia. Cal has been rejected, but he is unconcerned. They exit the house, exchange their first kiss, and Sicily departs. Cal searches for his dog, but cannot locate Runt. He notices some blood streaks, and pursues them. He ultimately discovers Runt's body in a dumpster. He becomes obsessed with it. At school, he confronts Vic, who denies everything. They have another conflict later on at a school event. Vic whines as Runt used to, and Cal realizes that he is the one who did it. Revenge is a dish best served cold. Cal is holding off till the big football game. Vic is unable to play, due to a hand injury. The squad is losing, and the players are unhappy. Cal infiltrates the locker room, and discovers their substances. 
he sprays them with a chemical liquid cleanser, causing them to experience all of the unpleasant symptoms listed by Ronnie. The gamers take the stuff, causing a commotion. They hemorrhage and suffer from migraines. Meanwhile, Sicily and Borgi become suspicious, and begin looking for California Cal isolates Vic and manipulates his mind. He makes him feel horrible, before beating him with his baseball bat. Vic eventually grabs the bat from him, but Borgi bursts in with his pistol, and shoots in the air. Cal grabs the pistol and the bat, telling Borgi to escape, or he'll be in big trouble. Finally, he is prepared to hold Vic accountable for his actions. Sicily locates them, and stops Cal from shooting Vic. She does however give him his bat, and instructs him to make Vic pay in another way. Cal strikes Vic twice, both times hard. Sicily intervenes, he's had enough. They get rid of the bat and the pistol, and are prepared to face any repercussions together. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.